All right, guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make a plaid looking uh, lawn. It's actually a kind of a neat effect going on here. Um, so the key is I've got single double stripes going this way, single double stripes going this way, and it just creates a cool plaid effect. Um, some areas, some of these squares are brighter than others. It's, it's similar to the diamond, but I'm not going over a third time. No, no, it's just kind of a neat look. Let's see if we can get some different views. That's a more normal, you can sort of see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see this direction. Nah, sun's beyond the clouds, so it's kind of uh, weird. And you guys gotta like stop commenting on my videos. My phone's going off constantly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding that it's going off constantly, but I don't mind. I think it's funny. Especially if I'm out talking to somebody, a friend, and uh, you know, it's going ding dong ding dong, and they're like, is that a text? So I'm like, no, it's YouTube comments. So, there you go, that's a pretty cool effect. I like it. I'm gonna be doing this for a little bit over there, and then I'm gonna try in the front yard double circles. Alright, so you can see that I already started with the lawn being striped in the double single method, and then I'm just going uh, perpendicular to it and doing the same double single method. Now for some added fun, you could do double, single, single, double, single, single, double, double, single, double, and mix it up like that, and then all the squares will appear to have different uh, brightness levels, different sizes, and all that. Because essentially what you're doing is you're just creating different patterns, but if you do it at varying uh, methods going north, north to south, and then varying methods east to west, then it's gonna have a really random looking pattern, but it'll still be square because you're always going perpendicular, uh, so it'll give you that really cool flat effect. And uh, that's all there is to it. It's really not difficult. You don't need to go over the other direction again like you do with diamond stripes. Uh, with diamond stripes, you're trying to make um, the diamonds in the center pop out. With this, you kind of want it all to mix and blend so it's it's a cool pattern that you're just like, whoa, that, that looks cool. It's not like any specific element is uh, standing out. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, try it out. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.